<laughs> I'm going to be. Welcome back, everybody. This is Damian Black here playing Darkest Dungeon. Um, what did we do last time? Looks like we upped this a little bit. I don't actually remember. <laughs> it's just a bad thing. Uh, let's take a look. We... Oh. This is the one we lost. We went lost to the Swine Prince? thought it was the king. Didn't we? Yeah, this is a level 3 medium mission. Swine King. Swine Prince. That's going to need them to cover that one up. So we're basically rebuilding into this. So let's take a look at what we've got. We need level 5s for that. We got a couple level 4s. Uh, let's go ahead and get her in for a little bit of stress relief. Are you a meditator? I didn't even bother checking that. You are not. We got a bunch of abilities that we need to clear off of you. Um, perhaps I should have watched my last episode and had something done about that. I don't want this, right? What is your death blow? So that would give you... Got him. 82%. There we go. I might be a little tired. Who knew? Uh, you were the one that was going through. It'll give you 82%. That'll probably go up in a level. We'll be able to see later. Oh, is it you? Well, let's go take a look at what missions we have available. Uh, we have this, which I believe we have a couple of. There we go. Uh, it does not look like it. Nope, we don't have that. And it's not a bad trinket by any means. I mean, it, it's it sucks if you're trying to, or if you're at death's door. But other than that, there's no bad side to it. It's just stress resist. Uh, we can't do a easy mission. We need a three or a four. Do we have a three or a four? Uh, there's you, but there's nothing to really combo you with. So I'm not too worried about that. So... We're looking at another solar bracer. A crap ton of those. What do we need in the town? A blacksmith is in need of being leveled up. So let's go ahead and we're going to head off to the weld then. And it's medium mission. Hmm. I think. One. Oh. That's my alarm telling me to wake up. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late. Going to the weld. I think we actually do want to bring our plague doctor this time. I mean, why not? And if we're bringing him, we can bring you. And might as well level up Pancake then. So let's see. We're bringing Gaffard, Pancake, Hal, Hail Acre, and Barasa. Let's go ahead and make sure that they're all up there. Let's make sure we have enough money and I don't do what I normally do. This should make things a little bit easier for the team. Okay, and we can send some other people to get things taken care of. I believe you are... No, you're not. I don't have to worry about that. You have one ranged ability, so I guess I might. Let's... Yeah, you're ranged. 80% accuracy. And I haven't upgraded anybody's real abilities. I mean, quick reflexes, backtracker stout, warrior of light. I'd rather start leveling him up. So I don't think we're going to take Gaffard on this. I think we'll toss Gaffard in here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we get a chance to bring you in. You have a ton of stuff. You have Fear of Eldritch. Let's knock that off. And Morphe, we haven't used you in a while, but we will. I promise. Uh, Fear of Beasts. I feel like I don't have as tight a grasp on this game as I do in my other. So you're set. There we go, a little bit for you. 
and we're bringing Ormond now this time, so oh, this is going to be expensive. Let's get Smite up. Let's get Zealous Persecution up. That was a medium mission. So I guess we can afford to do all of those. We'll bring up Stunning Blow as well. And then, yeah, you've got all those. Uh, let's go back in here. We're going there. We're bringing Ormond and everybody below Pancake in order. Yeah, you're fine in the 3-4 position. You actually... So we're going to swap you two. And we will go from there. So let's go back up. So, we're going to start off with Pancake. I lied. We're not going to start off with Pancake. We're going to start off with Barossa. Which we do have this. That'll come in handy. Maybe I should have gone for the other one of those that popped up. I do remember there being one, by the way. Um... These two look like what we're going to give to... Oh, no, not the sniper ring. Speed and dodge. Doesn't matter if the stun's resist goes down if they can't hit you. So essentially this is only minus 2 to both of those abilities because it's plus 10 to the dodge. Um, what else? I could give you the camouflage cloak. Just have you be the dodge lord. I think we tried that once. Let's give you a little bit of... Wait, wrong person. Let's give you a little bit of speed. And you already have quick reflexes, so that'll come in handy. And I think I'm actually going to give you the crit this. And we'll go through like that. Uh, back down to our other people. You... Light's not going to be very good here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and put this down here. I don't think I'll be using it all that much. I would like you to be more accurate when you do throw things, such as stun does land. And... I guess we're also giving you a camouflage cloak. So your accuracy is only going to get plus 6. Your crit's plus, but, and you're going to get plus three dodge. So it's not the highest dodge chance, but it is something. I'm not as worried. Oh, night blindness. Damage. Your stuff doesn't really do damage anyway. Like, this is the most damaging thing. And this has a high crit chance. And you're already nine, so it's 22. Yeah, we're going to give you the, the legendary bracer here. 27% crit chance, which will make up for the missing damage off of this. Because this is going mainly for the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, we are set. Let's go ahead and head off on our medium-sized Solar Bracer Gathering Dark Mission. It's a long. I thought it said medium. It's a long. Okay. So be it. Let's go ahead and bring out two stacks of food. We are going to be camping immediately. I will most likely toss this log. I'm going to bring four shovels. The the weld has a seems to have a oh maybe I don't bring out four shovels. I think that that's probably for the best. Yeah. So that's going to hold it for us. Uh, Anything else? Well, I could bring holy water, or I could bring another bandage. Oh, because I dropped a shovel. I was like, wait, what's going on? Alright, it's going to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and embark. It should be enough stuff. We should be good to go. Um, worst case scenario, we're not. And we're having to count on our healer a bunch. But we've got a healer that can be a little bit aggressive and deal with a couple of the things that show up. Let's go ahead and move this now. Drop one, use one. The reason I'm dropping one is because after you're done camping, you come out and it is daytime. So let's make you more accurate and give you a better chance to crit. That way, when you do start cutting things, it works. Increase our scouting chance.
Increase stress by 15%. Or by 15. Well, 15, 15%. It's almost the same thing. 15% of max. Uh, you don't have a single ability that I'd like to use. You've used them all. You have this, I guess. I mean, if we're going to be counting on that. So you've got 33 stress, and that's what we have to deal with. So be it. Not the worst idea. He's got a buff. He's got a buff. They're both pretty accurate. You've got a bad crit chance. Minus two on trinkets. Ah, because there's a lot of light. Okay. And now you don't. Unfortunately, you're not... Oh, I guess that does hit pretty hard. That should be... Nope. 91. And a crap ton more. Alright. So our, our bane of this mission, the dawn, has come. Let's go ahead and head out. Now let's take a look at our map. This is our long map. I brought three shovels. We're not using them to dig up things. We are going to try and make it as dark as possible, as fast as possible. That's a pretty good turnout. We got our fourth shovel. We also got stuff that we're not too worried about. If I start having to drop money, those things will be the first thing to go. Unless I get the other green one that's worth 250 And it's because the stacks that are available on it only go up to 1000 So, dark embrace. Make it darker, make it darker. Yeah. I think for right now I'm just gonna good crit stun you he did resist the move and then we can mark him from here and between these two they should be able to handle that um, look at that even if it did get both of them I would have been able to do something about that so and then let's try this is a stun one yeah how are we doing on that? We got them both. So next turn, we've got a free turn on them. Let's just go ahead and collect the bounty here. Good old marking damage. And... I guess we'll blight you. Because I don't think that my Crusader is going to have a good chance of actually killing you. You are Eldritch, right? Human beast. Uh, I was hoping that with all of us we'd have a chance. Unfortunately, that turned out not to be the truth. Oh, move my group around, eh? Well, guess oh, if I kill him, what if I do this? Yeah. He can still kill this thing. He's got the highest stress. It does make it darker. And you can still use your ability from there. I was planning on killing you. I guess I'm going to go for you then. Ah, we didn't even get the kill. But you should be able to deal with that one. So in theory, we should be able to knock this guy out this turn. What do we think the chances are that we'll get to go before that Kronk? What do we think the chances are that we'll actually be able to hit? What's that, a no to both of them? Huh, that's amusing. You did get blighted. We have a fix for that. Go ahead and cut this thing down. That is an ability... Yeah, plus 30% damage to Eldritch type. So if he ever crits an Eldritch, it should just die. Look at that Crusader putting in work. Let's go ahead and get you back to the back. Oh wait, no, we wanted you in the third position, that's right. And we did not bring any keys, so we're not getting bonuses out of that. And we do still want to switch you two. I know it takes Holy Lance away from this guy, but I'd rather have Holy Lance just in the single cases where we have to... Uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Where we have to move him forward. So, I'm leaving that alone because I don't have anything for it. That would have been nice in the last room. And we're moving that little bit past just so we can get that last 6% off. I think I forgot to do that in the one before. So, hey, we surprised them. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get these... Dang it. 
Two in the back was what I was going to say. Two in the back. Alrighty then. So, nobody's wounded yet. Let's go ahead and kill you. I'm fine with that too. That option is a viable one. I think I should swap these two abilities. Just because I tend to use this more. I almost use it more than Smite. Make it darker, make it darker. Yeah. A little bit further to go. Uh, we will try and Stunning Blow this one. If it works, then we don't have to worry about their turn. Sweet. And I have three turns to just kind of do whatever. Let's go ahead and heal him a little bit. It's only one, but that seemed to have been enough. We will try and kill you. Look at that crit chance. And it's only going to get better. So, yeah, we're getting two from the darkness right now. That'll go up four more. And I think I'm actually going to stun you. Nice crit. Take it off this guy. We didn't even need to. We could have just gone for the kill. I went for the stun because just in case it wasn't lethal, we had an answer there. Let's use our key here. We got a key back that's even better. I'm going to move this up and drop the key down here. And there's our first wall. There's our second wall. 100% of room battles. So we don't necessarily... Oh, excuse me. We don't necessarily have to go that way, but we will. We did get another shovel, so. Our first bandage instance. We picked up an additional bandage, so that's a good thing. We're already running out of room. Huh. It's an idea. Let's see. What do we have in here? The key isn't going to be as useful. We've made it this far. I'm pretty sure we could drop some room. Look at that. That's what we were hoping for. Uh, we're going to apparently just kill that guy. Might as well just smite at him. And for what we have, I think I'm just going to heal this guy. There we go. We will go to Stunner Crone. And Blight the Dog. That only had a 54% chance of hitting. Alright. Let me try that one more time. Look at you killing dogs. Peter would be upset. Not enough. That's perfectly fine. Why don't you go next? Yeah. And we can hex him. You've been hexed to death! And you still can't get your stuff under control. Um... I'm willing to drop that right now. We're probably not going to get an opening right away for something there. Go back over here. And we're probably going to end up having issues as far as that goes anyway. But I'd rather go this way. See if there's anything else that we can pick up. We can ditch things. I mean, we've got one anti-venom, so... I wouldn't feel too bad about getting rid of that. We used the... No, we didn't use the key. But there is a place to use the key over there. Damage spread. Ren for the old gods. Let's see. This should kill. Will kill. Would have killed from... Good. Would have killed from max. So, yeah, we don't need to heal anybody. And there's nobody in the back row. Nothing to worry about. There's nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see. Man, that was close. Is that the minimum amount of damage that you could have done? That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. So let's see. It's, do we want to? I don't think it's worth it getting rid of it for that. The money is not a problem. We will run into enough money along the way. So. And heirlooms are way more of the concern here. Let's put m those up front. Alright, so we're going to run into one more chest and then we'll have an open space. And one more fight, apparently. I didn't even realize I was on the map. Must have just popped up. So. I don't think you can kill one in one hit. You, apparently you can't hit one either. 28 dodge. You have a huge dodge chance. 
I have no accuracy boosting equipment on here. The only thing I have for accuracy is these buffs. Uh, what can you do? 7 to 13 or... Ah, I was hoping for a kill. Not a kill. Uh, but we could... Come on, team. Need you in your game. There we go. Probably should have used the uh, Hex. I think the Hex is a higher chance of hitting. I did max everybody's abilities, right? Ah, there you go again. I need a bandage. We've got a healer. Let's see, can you? Destroyed. Nothing like a crit. So that takes care of the enemy. Let's go ahead and heal him. And then with the other one, we'll also heal him. I should have healed you. And it's because this has both of them? Was that one? Did I? Yeah, I didn't bring up his stuff. I wonder if I forgot to bring up everybody that's out here's stuff. I could have swore we went through that. Didn't we go through that? Another bleed. Alright. Didn't you just get bled for two? Did you pick up a trait? No. Haha, I got it on the second time. And double crit. Did I give you the crit? No. You're just doing it naturally. Look at you. As victories mount, so Again, we're leaving money for right now. That's a 1500 stack that we've left. Money has kind of been the sore spot. Maybe I want to consider money more than heirlooms right now and just get my people maxed. Hmm. Ideas on ways to do things. Finally, our first eating encounter. Why don't you... Clear up a space. Ooh, no fail on that one. Let's see, what was your chance? 60? Okay. Am I going too fast for that? Like, I know where to look is the thing just because I'm used to it. I could slow down. I don't see a point to slowing down. Nice crit. Everybody's critting. Good thing about night missions. Uh, we have stress split between these two, which is actually better. And you are Eldritch. Let's see if you can kill that thing. No. You still did extra damage to it. I could have healed this guy. Wouldn't have been the worst idea. Let's see... Oh, I didn't swap your abilities. That's why. I'm an idiot. Might be a lumberjack as well. I'm okay with that. You only work all the time and dress in women's clothing. I mean, things. Didn't say that. Oh. So I was talking with my wife about this stuff that I remember eating as a child. And it was... I always thought that it was called apple strudel. Like, I remember that's what everybody in the house called it. And apparently that's not what it's called. And the bad thing is I have no idea, apparently, of what it's called. These crits. And I remember it being like, it was cooked in the oven, in a Dutch oven. Let's try and knock that thing out. Nice job. You should be critting about every other time, so. Um, but it was basically this roll of dough with apple slices in the middle. And as, the, as you would go on, good cheap crit. As you would go on with the baking, you would like pour the broth that it was sitting in on top of it. And it was great. It tasted good. I liked it a lot. A lot. Um, but I don't know the name of it. And I also don't have the recipe. These and it's kind of a little bit of a, a letdown in that sense. If these had been too stacked to the same thing, I would have. But we'll just go to open up a space this way. Do we want crests? That is a full stack of crests. I think we'll be able to get more out of the tree if we run into it. Let's get another shot at that. So I'm, I'm kind of let down that I can't remember, apparently, what it what it was. I'd love to have remembered the recipe for it. I would have loved to have known the actual name for it because my wife tried to bring me apple strudel and, and it wasn't what I was remembering. Like that flaky crust pastry like, I don't like my pastries to have flaky crusts. I, I would much rather have something that's soft and doughy. I don't want a fully baked pastry. I, just me. So. But she tried, and 
she brought back that, and I was like, what is this? And she's like, it's apple strudel. Oh, that's not what I remember. So, yeah. I guess everybody's got their own things. Hey, you actually got that off. You can actually get the kill instead. You like going twice in a row. Um, I think I'm going to heal the bounty hunter. He's not going to kill that. Well, I think he might have if he critted. I mean, I gave him the crit equipment for a reason. Doesn't matter if he does it, though. And then smite. <laughs> Night missions, what can I say? So, yeah, we've been trying to figure that out. Alright, we're getting into ridiculous territories of things that we're skipping. Is it worth it for three? Guess it was. Watch, this is going to be the tree. Oh, nope, crate. And there's a holy water with more crests. That's not even a full stack. I didn't do it for the last time. Crests are one of the things you get them from every mission, so... We do have to go both ways. There's a third wall. We have two shovels left. We are hoping to run into to more things. Uh, we're going to leave that alone for right now. I might think about it on the way back. Good, they're surprised. Uh, good news here is that there are undying things. Or undying, wow. Undead things. I'm actually going to... I keep forgetting to swap your... Whatchamacallit. Nice crit. Uh, you resisted. Not a problem. He'll still be able to hit this, so... He should have been able to hit that. Let's go ahead. Plague Grenade has 56% chance to hit. 66. Only one damage. Um, 74 versus 74. So it doesn't matter. I guess it did. Let's go ahead and start blasting this thing that's up in front. This is still stunned, so I've got a little bit of time. I can let the bounty hunter take it out. I should have marked this guy. What am I thinking? Just take it out. Uh, you know, I was just starting to get his stress under control, and you're going to do that? Like, really? What's your stun? 70% stun resist, and we missed anyway. He's missing a lot. That's an unfortunate thing there. What can we do to fix this problem? Well, it doesn't matter. Why did I give our healer the crit chance? Anybody else would have done better with that. I wonder if I can swap around their their stuff. I'd give, I'd give it to the bounty hunter, but he's missing everything. And that guy's critting on us. I don't need them to crit on us. I need us to crit on them. Alright. So now we have a ridiculous amount of stress. Uh, let's... I don't even have room to... Act. I'd have to ditch something first. Go fight. Poor inventory management on my side. They're surprised. Okay. You get to hack and slash him. Why don't you go to actually stun these two? We got one of them. I'm a little disappointed in myself for not upping his abilities. And let's pull you up to the front. We can try and kill you next turn. I guess we're not pulling you anywhere. Alright. Can you crit this? No. I was hoping. Beggars can't be choosers. That's what I was... Okay, at least I dodged it. That ability has way too high of a crit chance for my liking. Dude. Questionable actions. I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and eight on you. I think seven to eleven plus three. We'll just get the eleven and go for the kill. Good job. Still over halfway. I'm going to take this opportunity to just use you to heal yourself. Ah, uh, maybe I should have used you to heal as well. We'll try and stun him then. Any turn that they don't attack us is a good turn. There we go. 
If you're gonna miss a couple times and then crit, I can understand, like... God, that is a lot of money. Hey. We haven't run into anything yet. Money's been hurting us. Just gonna do it. Oh, I feel horrible now about... At least we got a full stack. We got a bunch more to go. I'm not worried about food. I could use some more food instances. Like the you've run into and your people are hungry instances. We have two more room or two more spaces available in our inventory. The last one to go is obviously going to be the food. These are heirlooms. I It's getting rough. Oh, grape shop last. But I think it's banned against these. I know the ability's OP, so that's guaranteed kill. It's one less thing. It was hopeful. Didn't actually happen. You've got 45% blight resist, so that's probably not going to work. It did, and it got the kill. I think that that should work towards getting him a little bit of uh, stress relief. I mean, he did cause it, essentially. Okay, now that's a full stack. If it gets to a point that we don't scout out anything else, I am going to go ahead and do that. I think we're going to leave this tent back here alone as well. Just simply because we don't have any space. And on the way back, we can at least eat and then view it. So, Tree Branch Smackdown. I think that may be one of the first times I've ever seen one of them hit. Um... Good job. Hey, we got them both up front. You can't heal from up here. You got a good chance at hitting that, though. So I think that I wanted I wanted to take that. I think it was a good call. Uh, you are cumin with 70% blight resist. Yeah, that's how we're going to do that. And then this next one, we'll go back here. Uh, he most likely has an ability that he can use back there, but we've got him back up to the front, so who cares? Uh, can we stun him? No. But I can mark him. Poison spores. At least it's not that confusion thing. That's annoying. I'm going to try and stun him again. We did get him marked, so he's... We didn't get him debuffed, though, so it's a little worse. Let's swap you two... Why don't you heal yourself? There are two instances of that triggering on him. So I guess I, I didn't even realize I should have healed him. Because uh, it heals the target as well as himself. Or herself. Have we had gender debates over that one already? I feel like we have. It's a lot of damage. We're going to need to heal you up. Why do you heal me, love? And that's what I didn't need to happen. That's alright. He got the kill. Still no stress relief on kills. Oh. Our sanitarium is maxed out. That's my justification here. Uh, why don't you go back up front? Why don't you go back up there? You go ahead and swap here. And I said we were leaving this. We'll come back for it if we have to. But as you can see, there is ample things along the way. I think I'm even going to leave that. And we'll just deal with battles on the way out. We have one more shovel. We should be able to, in this room, decide if we're keeping shovels or using them. Howl. I have to deal with his health. I should have just marked that thing to get it out of the way. I have to deal with your stress. This is getting to be annoying. I'm going to try and bring that guy back up front. It did not work. Is that guy just immune to moving or something? Uh, let's go ahead and get you marked. Yeah, we moved his up. We moved his up. There we go. 
that's the type of thing we're looking for. I'm going to try and stun him, see if I can buy one casual turn out of this. I guess not, but at least it's stress relief. I'm still justifying this as our sanitarium is maxed. We have a fight in this room. We still have 12 food, so I did bring too much food. And they're surprised. Well, let's see if we can get the crone up front. I'm not too worried about the blighting. Good, the crone's up front. If we do this, we should be able to... Hey, I want him to heal. There we go, that'll do. So we heal the bounty hunter. Who has 20 hit points left. I guess 25. Uh, let's go to try and stun our simple giant. Simple Jack! We'll deal with Blight from this thing when it comes up. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get you marked. Maybe you can get another 56 crit on it. Or maybe you'll just be able to 48 it. Or 38 it. Good stress relief. Just don't crit this thing and we're okay. Alright, so even if both of them get blighted, we have a way to deal with that. Okay. 52. Stress coming back down to manageable levels. Everybody's under half. All four people being blighted is not okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give you... And I bled you. We're healing you. E. What's your stun resist? 45? Didn't die. Was stunned. As long as you go. So he cured both and failed on him. That's okay. Round two. Let's see. Who's most likely going to go? You have a speed of seven. I'm assuming it's you. And it failed on you. Crits. Three, eight, and three. Didn't matter anyway. Weren't rolling the number. More busts. Not right now. Uh, looks like we get to see now. So we can get rid of shovels right now. We might have a chance to use it. We will if we do. We have a chance to use it. Let's go ahead and use our shovel. It's a thousand gold, by the way. So, in order of things that we're getting rid of. Money. Money. Why did I even open this? Money and crests are worth about the same. You get a ton of crests from missions, so... Let's go ahead and head down this way. There are three, four things that we'll be able to get stuff out of on the way. And this is why. So that's what we're seeing down here. Stay calm. This is not a route. It's the way we came. Most definitely a route. So instead of tossing that, I doubt that we'll get two in a row. We have an open space now. Hey, look at that organizing. Double torches. And a key. I should have actually replaced the key with what was with the money. But so be it. Just win this fight as critting on that is just like the nastiest thing that you could do. They are slower. Eh, I think it works out. Yeah, you're Eldritch. So hitting you is 30% better? 30% better. You get a chance to heal for a second. You could use it. Good heal. That should be and is Max and Ruby. I always hated that show. Mainly because Max always did everything right. Like, I'm sorry. I'm a guy. There's no way I'm doing everything right. Especially not in my sister's eyes. Like, I don't think I've ever done anything right in my sister's eyes. Outside of just kind of be there. 
Then again, my sister was a little spoiled. My sister was the baby of the family. I've actually got two sisters. One is, well, three, technically. Um, forgetting about people. People were probably like, you don't even know how many sisters you have. I do. My family had to give up one for adoption, and then we adopted one. And then I have my little sister, who's also biological. So, I do know how many sisters I have. Human beast. I keep wanting to think that you're eldritch. But I grew up in a house where I only had two. And in reality, I have more than two. I have two biological sisters. And I have two sisters that I grew up with. They are not all the same. Debuff. What do you debuff? 15 dodge? Nobody cares about that. You can do that all you want. Mark and debuff. I am not too worried about. Let's go ahead and mark you, though. Nice job. Little more management. We are almost back down. Um, I am going to keep on going for this, though. So. Nice crit. So the next one of you to hit should be the death of him. Which is you. And you two just like critting when it's going to be a kill. A guaranteed kill. You guys are just like, yeah, we're going to do it now. Why don't you go ahead and... Ah, I should... Which one of you has more? 23-18? Okay, so it wouldn't have mattered. 23-19! 23-19! We got both of them. So your 18 is now a 1. Or, you're the 18. Another one that's marked and can't dodge. Oh, no, the debuff didn't go. That's not the worst thing in the world. What I'm doing with them now, all of them can still do what, what I need them to do. Why don't you go ahead and hit her again? Lighting? Nope. Well, I got a fix for that, too. And... Death. Butcha. Butcha, butcha, butcha. Um... Deeds. I'm giving up a full stack of money for that. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. I don't think that anything else here is really worth it, so... There's an argument to getting rid of the two portraits, but... It's trapped. Now, the question becomes, do I want to walk back here for this? No. So we got an additional 12 on top of what we got initially. We only got a shit ton of gold. I'm not waiting for that to count out. We had a lot of deeds. Robust. Light above, and Hatred of Mankind. That's not a bad ability for you, buddy. Uh, new Quirk Calm, so we have to get rid of that. And nobody else had any real bad things happen to them. So let's take a look. What do we have? What do we need for it? We need a 3 or a 4? Ah, oh, we could go double. No, they're pretty practically banned on lower level missions. I don't really enjoy the gesture. They're, they're not the worst, but they're not the best either. <laughs> you hear me say that a lot. So we're looking at a two and we push you back to a three. Well, dud hitter. And witness, thick blooded second wind. I think we'll bring you in as our two. What do we have in here? Nothing that I'm really worried about, just to go over them. You guys can pause if you want to see what they actually do. Like, this is the most interesting thing, and I'm still not interested in it. But we should now have enough to upgrade our blacksmith one more. Fan the flames. Mold the metal. Do we need we portraits for this, or is this maxed out? That's maxed out. Okay. I believe that you were maxed out. Yeah. So... We need more of these. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what mission types we have available. We can hunt out the big guy here, the the reskin of the Hag Witch. We have another thing that I'm not too interested in. We can rehunt the Hag with a team that's not really built to hunt the Hag. Um, not exactly something I'm interested in. We could go get one of those martyr seals. That may be what we end up doing. They're both medium. I do need to bring the teams up. 
Like, we have teams, right? Alright. Let's just go ahead and get people in. I don't think that we're going to go hunt the hag, so... Let's deal with this. Take care of your crit. You're a dud hitter. You have no problems. You are the light below. So we have already just cemented ourselves as going on another one of those missions. Uh, I do not remember the order I had this in. So if I get it wrong, sue me. No, don't really sue me. I wouldn't enjoy that. I don't know if we're really going to do that. Like, it's a nice idea, but... Do I have another occultist? No. Why don't you just keep this? What the hell you boosting equipment? So, we're going to leave it like this. Uh, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like the video. If you want to know when the next one's coming out and don't want to have to do any of the work, go ahead and let YouTube do it for you. Press subscribe. But until next time, this is Damian Blackier saying, remember the fallen.